What I want to do is show you guys how to find the slant asymptote and the vertical asymptote uh, of our problem here. So what I have is f of x equals x to the fourth plus x divided by x cubed. So the first thing, you know, when we're finding asymptotes, the easiest thing we we'll always look for is the horizontal asymptotes because that makes you look and identify the exponents of your um, numerator and your denominator of your leading terms um, for a polynomial. And what we determined was when we have x to the fourth plus x and x cubed, what I notice is my denominators are not the same. My numerator, I'm not my denominators, my exponents are not the same. So therefore, I have a, my exponent for my numerator is larger than the exponent of my leading term for my denominator. Therefore, telling me I do not have any horizontal asymptotes. However, they'll open up the door for me to have a slant asymptote. Now, as far as going for um, a vertical asymptote, none. What I need to do is I need to figure out what is going to make my denominator 0. Okay? So in dealing with rational, uh, rational functions, whenever we have our denominator equal to 0, we're going to have a vertical asymptote. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set x cubed equal to 0. So what values of x are going to make, are going to set be equal to 0? Well, to figure that out, I take the cube root of both sides, and I get x equals the cube root of 0, which is 0. So therefore, my vertical asymptote, which I didn't leave room to write, is going to be equal to x equals 0. So that means it's going to be the line when x equals 0 is going to be my vertical asymptote. So how do we find our slant asymptotes? Right? Let's go back to it. So since this is a lower degree, that means I can divide x cubed into x to the fourth plus x. Now, I can't use synthetic division because this is a denominator to the third power. Synthetic division, we could only use it when it was a binomial to the first power. However, I'm going to write it out, x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0, no, plus x plus 0. And I'm just going to write these zeros in there so you guys can get a little idea of the placeholders. You don't have to, but I, I, like, uh, I like to do it because I think it helps. So x cubed goes into x to the fourth how many times? x times. x times x cubed is x to the fourth. Subtract my rows, 0. 0, 0, x. x cubed goes does go into x? No, it does not. So since x cubed does not go into x, what I therefore have is my denominator, which is x over x cubed. However, for our slant asymptote, we are not concerned about the remainder at all. So my slant asymptote is going to be the line of y equals x where x is just going to be my divisor minus my remainder part. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find the vertical and slant asymptote. Thanks.